Hi, my lovely friends. Welcome back to the lovely Stranger Tarot. My name is Jasmine. I am an intuitive tarot reader as well as a channel for the message you need to hear. My lovely friends, I am so sorry I was not around um, the last five weeks. Um, this Maybe you re uh, read that on the community uh, post that I did. Uh, I broke my foot. So um, yeah, I really needed time to heal, to regain my energy levels again. Uh, but now I'm back and I will hopefully get some readings out for you, okay? I mean, it's the end of the year. We all want to know, like, what the next year will be. And I will do a lot of reads. Um, but right now, this topic is um, what messages do you need to hear right now, okay? And this will be an on-camera shuffle. This is why you only have stones here. This is pile number one. This is the citrine stone. Pile number two is the lapis lazuli. Pile number two is the carnelian. And pile number four is the agate. So if you need more time, then please pause the video here and I will see you at your pile. Hi, pile number one. Let's see what messages um, will come through to you. I pre-shuffled all the decks um, and I will first pull your tarot card and then your oracle cards. Pile number one, what message do you need to hear? This is the Queen of uh, Pentacles. Which message? Yay, this is the sun. What message does pile number one need to hear? One more card, please. Well, this is too much, but this is the one who um, got, like, um, flipped on this side. This is the Ace of uh, Cups in the reverse. Then we see what the Oracle cards say. Pile number one, which, which message do you need to hear? This is the one, Peace. Let's save this for the end. <laughs> Which message do I number one need to hear? Oh, these are two. No problem. We have answer the call and pillar of light. Then we see what uh, in love could be going on. Ooh, whoa, one second. The card that flipped and fell on the floor was getting to know each other. And lastly, let's see what, um, this is a goddess oracle. So um, let's see which goddess is around you or what topic um, is it that you need to hear right now? Because every goddess, of course, represents one topic. Message for... Pile number one. This one. We have Hina, courage. So let's see. Okay, pile number one, I think um, this is a reading about your life path or your um, your life purpose, to be uh, fair, okay? Um, and I don't think this is much about love, although here is love involved. But I think right now um, you are represented by the Queen of Pentacles, even though you don't might identify 
identify as a female. I'm sorry, I didn't do that for a long time. So <laughs> maybe, uh, but you, if you watch me not for the first time, then you know I trip over my words all the time. Even when I speak German, no problem here, right? Um, the Queen of Pentacles. I think this uh, represents, this card represents you, okay? I think this is right now, you are at the point where you, um, whether already found what you want to do with your life or you're about to find it, okay? This is all about you. This spread is about you. Um, this is about your life purpose, um, your, your you. Okay. I think this is very much about you. Who you, do you want to be? What do you want to have? What, um, are your, um, uh, yeah. What are your values? Okay. I think this is very much about this. And um, like I said, whether you just found it or you will find it soon, if you are um, searching for your life purpose, then you will find your life purpose soon because the sun is here and the sun is, of course, the most um the most beautiful card and the most like the best card in the whole tarot deck okay it also could be if you maybe want to have a child if you are in that age and uh, maybe you have a partner and you are thinking about having a child this will happen soon okay the sun like it's like um it's a word play also of course this is the sun but it's and i said it like the sun you know, like with an O, like son, like daughter and son. So it could be that your life purpose involves to have a child or children. Okay, so if you were thinking about this, like in the last, um, like in the last time, then this could really involve um, having a baby, and maybe this will be um, the next, um, the next. Um, yeah, this will next happening. This will be the next event. Okay. Um, then we have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. So um, I think right now, this is um, like maybe the time that, like I said, like this, you have to um, value you. Okay. I think you are maybe spilling your energy a little bit too much. Um, when you have the, um, the Ace of Cups, in the upright, then you see like that um, the cup is so full that all the water is overflowing. Okay, and this can be um, that somebody uh, invites you for a relationship, that somebody invites you um, to fall in love with them, to um, connect with them, like having a friendship. Um, but like I said, I think this is more about you and your inner peace. And I think maybe um, you're overdoing it right now a little bit. So um, because this was in the reverse, you can see like it's spilling okay the water is spilling out too much you're wasting your energy for things that have nothing to do with you um for things maybe even that um are not um even touching even touching you but people put maybe um pressure on you and you um take things on that are not res not your responsibility so please um take care of yourself and try to say no if it's overbearing okay and i think you really want to find peace. And I think um, you're almost there if you are not there yet. And I think maybe this is the last... Um the last part that is missing to find your peace, okay? I think you have like an idea where to go in your career, maybe even your life path in general, but this might be um, the last thing that's hindering you to find peace here, okay? So this is very important that you care for yourself, that you nurture yourself, um, maybe buy something for yourself, take a bath, um, or go for a walk, go into nature. This always helps, or go to water maybe, because this is um, the Ace of Cups and I just saw like there is a little um, pond or something. Just go, um, if you have some water near you, then go there. And um, I think this will help you very much. Okay, yeah, go into nature. With Answer the Call here, what is your soul calling you to do? Um, I think like this is... Um, 
if you have not yet find your calling, then um, uh, spirit is urging you to go um, retreat, kind of. So um, with the peace card, this can also mean that you have to meditate um, with the ace of cups in the reverse. This is like you have to be more selfish. This is not selfish, but you have to um, harbor your inner strength. Don't waste your energy and um, make breaks. Okay, maybe um, you do too much, even though you love what you do in work. Don't do too much. Take your time, take your breaks, rejuvenate. Okay, then we have pillar of light. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. So like I said, I think um, you are really like only one step away to find your life purpose or the job that you want to do. Maybe you are in college or university and you cannot grasp like exactly what you want. Um, I think helping like uh, this will help to go into yourself, meditate and talk, uh, have a self-talk within you and nurture yourself. Do something for yourself. Be kind. This will help you. And um, because I think you are probably an empath here, I get the feeling with the pillar of light, you are helping everybody except for yourself. Um, you are nurturing everybody except for yourself and you have to change this, okay? I think um, maybe even uh, your life purpose could involve um, uh, serving people. But still, even though you are a pillar of light, you have to have um, your own cup filled. This is really the most important thing um, to uh, be in yourself, to nurture yourself, and then you can help everybody else. But this is the most important thing, okay? And maybe you have, like, maybe you um, you are also tarot reader or card reader, and uh, maybe you want to go in that direction, or maybe um, this will help you that you, um, what I sometimes do when I watch bigger cards, because I like to watch them, then I um, draw myself like an oracle card and see if this connects, and this usually connects, and it deepens the reading a little bit more and makes it more, um, yeah, more, more customized to you, okay? Then with the getting to know each other, this could, of course, mean that you um, have met someone or you will meet someone and you will get to know each other. But I, again, um, see that maybe you have to get to know yourself better, okay? Um, like I said, I think you do everything for everybody else, but maybe you don't know exactly where you go because you don't where you want to go because you don't take the time to know yourself. And this is also important to, like I said, have some self-talk, like what do I want to do now? Maybe make a list. What do you like to do in general? And um, this will lead you to your path, what you want to do with your life. Because of course, the goal is to be fulfilled in life and um, to have a life that makes you happy and nobody else, okay? So of course, this can also mean that you will meet someone um, with the ace of cups of course this could mean that um, this will um, yeah that you first of all have to make the first move um, but this could also mean that um, this relationship is very slow in the beginning okay so nobody makes an offer right away so it's here it's lingering kind of but nobody does the offer so maybe you have to um, get to know each other first. So someone will make an offer if it's you or the other person. We will see. Then we have Hina, courage. And uh, I'm thinking about maybe reading because sometimes I don't know the goddess and I really like to know something about the goddess. And Hina, I really don't know. So, uh, and I think I never had her in a reading like whether I, I use these cards uh, very often in my uh, private readings so oh, she's a polynesian goddess when moon goddess hina appears it's time it means sorry it means it's time for a change she sh supports you through all transitions in your life so take heart as you prepare for things to shift 
Okay, so maybe you're on the verge of making a decision of maybe changing uh, jobs or finishing university, something like this. So, um, yeah, you will make a shift. Like I said, you're on the verge to something, whether to know where you want to go or maybe you're changing jobs, changing uh, from university into um, a job. And um, Hina will help you. So if you pray, then also call on Hina, maybe uh, light a candle for her. You can also uh, only use like these small white uh, uh, candles, no problem, and um like write a pray prayer for her or say a prayer for her so she will help you through this time. And um, like I said, please nurture yourself, do what makes you happy in that moment and this will help you with this shift because this will ground you and stabilize you. Okay, pile number one, this is all I have for you. I hope you liked it um, and I hope um, yeah, this resonated with you. And if so, then please leave a comment down below. I love to read um, if it resonates because this gives me feedback. And of course, like the YouTube algorithm is BS. <laughs> so <laughs> please support my channel and click like. And uh, of course, subscribe if you have not yet. And I hopefully see you next time. Bye. Hi, pile number two. Let's see what messages will come through for you. I pre-shuffled all the decks. So let's see which messages for pile two. Message for pile two. Mm -hmm. Oh, there were just three cards falling out. They're all in reverse. We have the Page of Swords in reverse. The Hermit in reverse and the Six of Swords in reverse. Let's see what the Oracle cards say. Message for Pile 2. Pile 2, okay. We have Clean It Up. And to be fair. So let's see this deck messages for pile two messages for pile two. I will take this one. Council of Light. Divine orchestration help us in the subtle realm. Then let's see if we have some love messages here. Messages for pile two. Wow, yes, that flew out. Express your love. In the pre-shuffle, this fell out too. And let's see, um, maybe this will be the higher topic or it will help you because this is a goddess um, that I will pull it for you now and this goddess you can call for if the time gets tough then you can call for that goddess for help goddess for pile two from number two lapis lazuli goddess for lapis lazuli this one this is Aditi creation. I never, number one also, I never pulled these goddesses. I use that a, a very, um, very much actually. And um, I thought I had most of them already. <laughs> okay. I mean, the, the first thing that my eye falls on is the Pisces sign here. Maybe a Pisces or Cancer. Your water sign maybe. Or a Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be, but of course, this was the first thing that my eye fell on. Okay, let's see what we can get here. Oh, sorry, I forgot to put the light on. Sorry so much. Hope you can see now better. Yeah. I didn't do that a long time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I have to get adjusted <laughs> again. Um, 
Okay. So I think you're right now in a very tumultuous period of your life. Okay. Um, with, I mean, we have the page of swords here, but this is in reverse. Usually this is, um, like a very young energy, um, that loves to jump into action. Okay. The page of swords doesn't think so much. It's very quick with it. Very quick mouthed also can be sometimes even hurtful. Um, when, uh, because he, he or she, this is not gender based, um, but this person is not very, um, you're yeah, not very mature. So sometimes, um, this person speaks before they think. Okay. So, um, because you have it in the reverse, oh, sorry, I should have shown you in the upright because you have it in the reverse. Um, this is right now, maybe this is, um, this usually the first card is representing you. So maybe you are a little bit hesitant to do something. Um, I have the feeling um, this might have to do with your work, but this also has could have um, to do with your life. Okay, your, your life in general. Maybe you have um, arrived a phase um, that you um, were very withdrawn from other people and um i mean of course right now we all have to be withdrawn a little bit from other people but i think maybe you felt a little bit too comfortable in that time or maybe um this was a little bit frightening for you this period so um you changed like you held yourself back like actually you may be this um young um, quick witted person, but right now you hold yourself or you held yourself back, um, from action. Maybe, um, you made it, you made yourself like a little cave and you don't want to come out, but it's time for you now because the hermit is in reverse. So, um, if this is in the upright, then of course, this is a time for withdrawal, um, a time of thinking, a time to contemplating. But if the hermit is in the reverse, then now it's time to come out of the cave to, um, to, uh, yeah, to get out into the world. And I think now this is time. I think maybe you have, um, you made it a little bit too cozy for yourself. You, you're too much in your comfort zone and now you have to get out of here. Okay. Um, with the six of swords, when it's in the upright, then usually this is like going out. Um, you know, they are fleeing from a war zone and this is like going to much calmer waters, but this card is in reverse. So probably it's now time for you to throw yourself back into life. You were alone uh, far too long. You were um, in hermit mode far too long. And now it's time like to actually to go back to war. <laughs> this is just a metaphor. So to throw yourself into life, to throw yourself into, um, yeah, wild waters. Okay. To, um, throw yourself like back into life to do something. Maybe you were just like the last months, maybe you were just sitting home eating chips and, uh, watching Netflix, but this is over now. Okay. So you should prepare, you should get prepared to get out into the world again with the clean it up card. Um, it might be that, like I said, maybe this was a little bit, um, weather frightening for you. So maybe it's time to now, um, yeah, to break free from your limitations, to break free from your anxiety. So this is um, what you should clean up. So free yourself, throw old self-beliefs out of the window, clean up your inner space or your outer space. Maybe um, you really like you barricaded yourself in your home. Like um, maybe it's time to open the windows. Maybe it's time to um, clean them. It's not spring yet, but it's almost, I mean, I don't know where you are. Maybe you celebrate Christmas and even uh, though you're not celebrating, the holidays are just around the corner. So maybe you should clean your space, clean your home, um, free it from clutter so you can breathe again. And maybe this makes you more lively. Sometimes it's just that you like possessions make you so heavy that you um, just stick to 
one place and like the couch and don't want to move. So it's now time to open the window, let the fresh air in, even though it's cold, just like here, it's almost um, like zero degree. So maybe um, just, but it doesn't matter. Like, you know, fresh air, just like, is a fresh breath like in your brain i always love that when it's cold so to be fair so you don't have to be frightened okay um i think um yeah now it feels huge to get out of your comfort zone i don't know why but really i have the picture in my head like somebody is glued to the sofa like cuddled and eating chips <laughs> You know, just like a comic and watching Netflix. Um, and maybe you feel like um, you unlearned how to be social. You unlearned how to um, talk to people. You unlearned how to be in action. But you don't have to worry. Everything will be fine. Everything will be just okay. Now, um, th the scales has to be balanced again. So it's nothing wrong with um, sometimes sitting on the sofa and watching Netflix, but sometimes you just have to get out, even though you're social, you're, you have to social distance. Um, you can go out into nature, go and see, um, like, uh, go into the woods, go into, like, uh, go and... Uh, you know, go to the waters, go to the sea, wherever you live and just do something. Like I said, let the fresh air like breathe through your brain. <laughs> yes, with the Council of Light, I see that really a connection here. Um, you know, your um, probably it was your um, your guides that are talking to me right now and um, they say like you have to get out of the house you have to get off that couch even though if you're not going out of the house then um yeah maybe um find a fitness video on netflix and just do that <laughs> okay follow the instructions go and move you you know they they want you to um not be afraid to do something because um i don't think this is um good how you live right now and um yeah like i said they they don't mean that you always have to be busy 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 but you know sometimes the balance is the most important thing here and they help you okay don't worry like even though you think like i cannot do this they will help you they will give you a loving notch okay this is also an action card okay so um maybe if you have nobody in mind that um this could be like a romantic guest a romantic gesture for but um you of course have friends you have family so go out and um maybe just um or don't you don't even have to go out but maybe make something for them and um send it via mail or like write a letter um um, write a poem, like um, say what you really like about this person or just, um, I don't know, like uh, um, be creative, <laughs> go to, to a Skillshare and, uh, and this is really not sponsored <laughs> because, uh, yeah, I don't have so much subs, but um, yeah, if Skillshare wants to sponsor me, no problem. <laughs> No, and learn something do something like um uh, uh i don't know make a painting make um build something and then give it to or gift it to someone that really means a lot to you even a call can just work wonders okay if you call sometimes i do this like i just send a message to my friends and i say like i just wanted to let you know like you're so important to me and they always like is something wrong? <laughs> I'm like, no, I just wanted to tell you, you know, do something like this. Just express your love for the people you love, for your loved ones. Okay. Even though the, uh, if you have no romantic partner, if you do, then go out and tell your romantic partner that you love them. Okay. And um, I think this will strengthen you also because when you have um, social connections, they can help you um, doing something else and balance. Maybe they can give you an advice or maybe you could go somewhere together like with distance, but you can go somewhere together and like this will help you a lot. Okay, then we have Aditi creation. And because I don't know the goddess, I will of 
course, read out of the book here. Let's see. She is a Hindu goddess, a Hindu goddess, goddess of the universe, Aditi. I hope I say that right. Is empowering you to create at will. Be the change you want to see in the world. Go out and make it happen. Sorry, this is another action card, my friends. So, um, yeah, you. I, I think you crave the change, but maybe you are a little bit frightened. But don't worry, everything will be fine. You can make the change and you have a lot of loved ones that will help you. And also your guides um, will help you with that. Okay, so thank you, pile number two, for watching. And if you um, liked it, if that resonated somehow, then please leave a comment down below. Please subscribe. So support my channel if you like the content and leave a like, leave a comment and of course subscribe if you have not yet. And I hope I will see you next time. Bye. Hi, file number three. Let's see what messages will come through for you today. I pre-shuffled all the decks and I start with the tarot cards. Okay. Pile or carnelian group what messages do want to come through this is the seven of pentacles messages for pile three we have already enough we have the queen of wands and the six of cups so start with this one messages for number three the carnelian group messages for part three Ooh, you have two one second the card that fell was yang and the card that was here was orphaned in the reverse usually i don't read reversals when i do these readings only private readings um but right now i feel called to do this so we will do this and let's see this deck messages for pile three messages for pile three for the carnelian stone one star seed what lights you up and let's see if we have a love message for you for pile number three the carnelian stone yeah that's it past life relationship okay and let's see um, which goddess you can call upon. Um, this also can be like an overall message for you, okay? But um, when the yeah when uh, the times are tough, then you can call on that goddess, okay, to help you maybe light a candle or just say a prayer for this goddess, and she will help you. Uh, number three. And the times are rough. We have Oba domesticity. What domesticity? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's see what these cards are telling you on in me. Yeah, of course, right now we started with Seven of Pentacles. So right now you are waiting for something. Maybe um, you are waiting for someone to take action towards you. Um, or you are waiting for you to come into a state of mind. Um, we have here the Queen of Wands. This could represent you. Um, you don't have to be a female or, um, yeah, to, uh, identify as female. Um, the queen of, but the energy represents you. Okay. So the queen of wands is the most, um, 
yeah, the most, um, the, the queen with the most self-esteem. She knows who she is. She knows her passion. Um, and she will not let anyone step over her. Okay. She is the witch of the deck. I love the queen of wands. Um, the, the black cat represents intuition. So you're probably very intuitive. Or maybe you have trouble following your intuition because um, we have the seven of uh, pentacles first. So maybe um, you were, or maybe you usually represent the queen of wands, but something happened that you were out of balance and now you're waiting to go back into that state. Or this could also represent a person. So it could represent uh, maybe a fire sign or someone who represents this energy that you are waiting on. Okay. Because we have two cards that um, represent um, past life relationships or can represent past life relationships, okay? Um, we have, of course, the Six of Cups. This is the soulmate card, but also a childhood as well as past lives. So um, I would usually read that as childhood or um soulmates but with the past life relationship i believe this person is probably a soulmate from um a past life so maybe you are just waiting for maybe you know this person but maybe you don't um maybe you just have the feeling that um that you miss something in your life. And I think this is this person. Maybe this is a person you had a soul contract with um, from your past life or many of your past lives. And um, this person wants to come through to you, okay? We have the starseed card. So maybe you identify as a starseed. And if you do, then your person is a star C2 because probably you met um, in a different dimension. Probably you don't didn't meet um, on this planet here, um, but you met somewhere in another dimension on another planet in another realm. Okay. And I think you feel very uh, alone sometimes. Okay. When I see this, yeah, there is a girl sitting in a nest and she is left all alone, okay? So maybe you have, like with, the, uh, because this was in the reverse, maybe you have a feeling that you are sometimes very much alone, but you still have a feeling um, that you are longing for something here, okay? With Together with the yang card, the yang is the masculine energy here. So maybe you identify as the female energy. This could correlate with the queen of wands. But um, maybe, um, yeah, maybe this person just has a lot of yang energy, so is very action-oriented, okay? And um, you are, and look at this, these hands here, they are like, yeah, they are reaching out to, to you, okay? You probably have already a connection with this person. Maybe you had dreams of someone recently, or you have like, a strong feeling that someone is waiting for you, like an, uh, an urging feeling, like you, you look out at the moon, you look up to the moon, and you feel that someone is waiting for you. And this might be a person. Of course, my cat decided to throw a tantrum in the background, like always. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, the past life relationship. And I think you, this person will come very soon. Whether, whether you know this person or not, I think this is the, um, like the next big thing for you, okay? Right now you're just waiting, but this person will come very, very soon. And you probably um, will get together like very, very quickly, okay? Um, because of the domesticity card and um, probably you will, yeah, this could be your soulmate. You could marry this person. You could move in together with this person and uh, enjoy the domesticity, okay? Just saying 
in your home. But I will read over to you. I know her. I had her already because the other two I never had, like the other goddesses. I had Oba already. I drew her. Here she is. Uh, but I like to read. I don't know why they are so short and sweet. Okay. Goddess of marriage and domesticity, Oba is signaling for you to focus on tending your own home and domestic area. Leaning into your home life is going to help su support you at this time. Okay, so yeah, like I said, there is a focus on your domestic home right now. So maybe um, if you want someone in your life, then make room for them. Okay, maybe you have to... Um, like make your home, like beautify your home right now. Maybe you have to make space for this person to come. I feel strongly this person wants to come because even if this is not a male energy, they want to take action, okay? They want to reach out. They want to come through for you. And uh, you probably have to uh, embody the female energy right now and make space and make room for them to arrive okay so um you have to concentrate on your home right now maybe yeah just um decorate for christmas maybe clean like be nice you know like clean everything um and uh yeah, and, and decorate maybe. If you have, like if you already are in union, then there is still a focus on your domestic home because maybe um, maybe there are some uh, like tensions between you and these will uh, also lighten up when you um, clear the home. Maybe do some feng shui and um, like because the energies have to flow in your home. I see that very strongly for you, okay? So pile number three, I hope you liked it and it resonated. And if so, then please support my channel and leave a comment down below, leave a like, and of course, subscribe if you have not yet. And I hope I will see you next time. Bye. Last but not least, hi, pile number four. Let's see what messages will come through for you. Um, I pre-shuffled all the decks. I will start with the tarot cards and then go to the oracle cards. This was in reverse. So first we already have uh, the seven of cups in the reverse. And what message? Want to come for for the agate. Okay. The nine of cups. And one last card, please. Thank you very much. The King of Swords. So let's see what all cards for pile number four. I have four messages for the agate. This one. Oh, exchanging gifts. Well, Christmas is around the corner. Maybe <laughs> some messages for pile four. The agate stone. Four. The Great Gathering. And I also want this Mentakan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I already see. This uh, will be a goddess you can uh, call on through um, the next uh, week, weeks. Whenever you uh, feel drawn to this, and this can also represent an overall topic. Okay, so the pile for the agate stone, which goddess you can call upon? Oh, yes, this is Hell Rebirth. I like her very much. Okay, 
Oh, let's do this. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think uh, you felt uh, very disappointed because of something. Uh, probably someone left you out in the cold. Um, maybe, doesn't matter who this is, like could be a family member or your family, could be a friend, could be um, a potential love interest. And I think this was very recently that you have the feeling or had the feeling like whatever you do, um, I wanted to say something else, but this came into my mind. They said, like, whatever you do, you cannot make it right. Okay. Like whatever decision you take, you cannot find the right decision. Um, you, yeah, you picked the wrong person kind of, or you made the wrong decision. This uh, comes through very clearly and you felt very disappointed, left out in the cold and uh, not at all satisfied. This could be that um, this was going on for a while. I have the feeling like it could be that it just was one incident, but actually I feel like this was dragged out throughout a while, maybe even months or years. Um, this is minor, yes, but it could have been going on for a while, like maybe six weeks, uh, seven weeks or seven months because of the seven. Um, but it is going to change. Okay. Um, we have like <clears throat> from this disappointment, they will come something very, very good for you. Okay. A wish fulfillment. You don't see it yet. Okay. Because it's on the horizon. It's like, you know, it's underneath the water level and it has to rise. So, and you will see it very, very soon. Um, right now you feel down in the dumps, but you will see like when you look back, then you will see like, okay, if this was wouldn't have happened, then this wish fulfillment wouldn't have happened, okay? This could be that um, this wish fulfillment is a person, like the king of swords, maybe um, an air sign, Aries, uh, Aries? Uh, maybe an Aries, who knows? Um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, usually represented. And... Um, but it doesn't have to. It just can mean that you represent the energy like in the next future here. Okay. The, uh, the king of swords is, um, yeah, very much, um, like mind based. Okay. Mind focused and, um, like not much of, uh, emotions. Yes. They, uh, make the decisions with their mind. Um, they are very just and fair and um, very intelligent and smart. Um, but yeah, they're not the most emotional type. So maybe um, you uh, made your decisions very emotion based in the past. So if this represents you, then now you come into the phase where you um, base your emotions more on your mind. Okay, and maybe this is the right thing to do because um, you get this wish fulfillment here. Okay, this wish fulfillment could mean that you get a gift, like um, a gift from universe, so that you might get money, that you might get, um, like that you win a car, that you win something, you know, like something um, valuable. You will get something valuable. But like um, I said, this could also represent a person. You will exchange gifts, just something like um, um, like mutual interest, mutual um, compassion, mutual love. Okay, so um, it could be like you will give, you will get something very, very soon. And of course, like I said, it's Christmas time, it's holiday season. If you don't celebrate Christmas, then maybe you celebrate Hanukkah. Um, I don't know, like, of course, all the religions, but um, like, there are, uh, like, in winter time, there are some um, nice holidays. Also, Chinese New Year is, I think, in February. So, yeah, the holiday season is coming around wherever you are. 
um, of, on the world, some holiday will come soon. Um, but I really think this is a gift from universe. Okay. So maybe you will get, if this maybe was a love interest, um, you were disappointed of, or maybe even a lot of disappointments because I mean, we have the seven of cups. So maybe, um, you were dating and nothing would be like, come to fruition so maybe you were dating for a longer period of time and every um guy or girl or wh whoever um was not like your type it wouldn't co you wouldn't connect um it was wouldn't happen but like maybe the gift is someone that it will click with okay but like i said it could also be that you change your perspective and you change the way you make decisions, what will bring you more um, abundance and a gift here, okay? Then we have the great gathering. It's all coming together, intuitive hits and soul tribe. Just like I said, maybe this is a person, like this could be like a romantic interest that will come in for you. Maybe this is... A very good friend for you okay but some thing or someone will come just for you and it will feel like a gift from god or the universe okay and we have mintakan longing longing from sorry sorry why can't i talk in your group i don't know um longing for home belonging the original light workers so again probably you will meet a person might it be a love interest or friend that is from your soul tribe, a soulmate that you made a contract with, um, that um, is like that you have the feeling you belong together probably right away. You, um, yeah, this is, it will feel like a gift. It will feel heaven sent because it is, okay? This is this is a gift from universe. Like you will meet this person, maybe, like I said, maybe you had a contract and that you will just meet at this time and now is the right time and it will happen, okay? And with Hale, the rebirth, the goddess of the underworld, um, of course, this is a rebirth. I think you will, like with this person, you will heal, like this disappointment you will feel like a total different person you know you'll go from disappointment and sad you will go to this like very happy and uh you know like sitting in yourself like feeling very good okay and you will um feel like your life is just reborn because you met someone of your tribe okay maybe um yeah, you met this person and maybe you never had that, that you connected so well with that person. But I will read you um, Hail from the book and I, because I love it. It's just short and cute and I love it. Where you are, Hail. He is. It's time to relinquish and release what isn't working for you. It's always difficult to acknowledge an ending, but Goddess of Death, Hail, is here to remind you that it's the only way to find yourself at a new beginning. Okay, so right now, maybe you are in the state that you are very disappointed. Nothing is working for you. But um, there is a, a saying like, if you have the feeling everything is falling apart, it could happen that it's only falling into place. And I have the feeling this is where you're at right now, okay? Maybe you have the feeling everything is falling apart, nothing is working, but this is why it's falling in place, okay? Soon you will find yourself happy. You will have a wish fulfilled and um, you will feel like you belong. So please... Hang in there and it will happen very soon for you. Okay, pile number four. This is all I have for you. And I hope you liked it. I hope uh, it, yeah, it connected with you and your life. And if so, then please support my channel and leave a comment down below and click like somewhere here. And of course, subscribe if you have not yet. And I hope I will see you next time. Bye.